This video is sponsored by Squarespace. We're shaking and we're fashioning. <laughs> Intro. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are doing a very fashion-y, fashionista video. That's right, I'm gonna be doing all the fashion things. Trying on the clothes, showing you all the clothes because I have a shopping addiction and I went shopping to cider and this isn't all of it. I did it again and I told you I had a problem. So if you wanna know what I bought and what is inside, all of these bags then keep on watching because we're gonna unbox try on and review oh yeah so let's talk about cider for those of you that are like what is it well if you don't know which i'd be surprised because <laughs> Their targeted ads are everywhere. Insta stories, Insta feed, TikTok lives, Facebook. I've seen cider everywhere and it got to the point that I finally gave in. I know I'm an influencer, but I'm very, very, very easily influenced to the point the clothes just want to put themselves onto me. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so Cider is a company that is based in Hong Kong and I'm gonna see if their clothes fit, if they look good, if they feel good quality because the prices are quite reasonable. Let's open it on up then and um, see what I bought. I'm not gonna lie, I bought these a few weeks ago now and I've forgotten everything. So it's gonna be like clothing Christmas. Ooh! So upon first inspection, everything is individually wrapped, which is a little bit wasteful. It's a lot wasteful. Just put the clothes together. <laughs> and free stickers. Oh, I didn't know you got free stickers. They're so cool. Look at them. Okay, let's have a look and try some of these clothes on. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna start with the fluffy thing. Oh, it's so, it's got ears. Oh, this is so soft. Okay, this is a jacket. It's got fun little ears and you can inflate the ears. I got everything in a size medium and fingers crossed I didn't measure it or anything. So let's see if things are true to say. It's so fluffy! <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? Okay, but it's always got, oh, it's fur inside the pockets as well. Oh, oh, I like it. I wish you could like feel how soft this is. This is like, so cozy, but this just makes it for me. <laughs> Which way are we going? <laughs> that way. <laughs> oh, sorry, I meant that way. <laughs> this is a cute rabbit ear solid coat. It was 31 pounds. I've got to say, this might be the best 31 pounds I've ever spent in my life. It has the little pumps in here that erect the ears. Okay, next, right, this is a bit of a granny piece. I saw it and I was like, it's like a, it's like a tapestry. It is a kitty cat tapestry dress. And I hope it fits because, oh, it's so cute. Look, look at it. It's got every, kind, it kind of looks like a cushion cover. Um, this is a bit snug. This is a medium. The pattern's cute. I would definitely size up. Is it because I got boobs? Because I can't help it. I can't just take them off. Oh, it would have been such a cute dress. Okay, this one's going in the taking back pile. Next, I picked this dress because what's the brand? Is it Selkie? Um, <laughs> you guys know the Instagram poofy dresses that look really short, but really cute, like you're a princess. Cider had one that was clearly trying to be that and I want to try it on so bad because this could make me feel like a fairy. It's got boob holes. There might be space for the girls. So here it is. Oh, it's so short. <laughs> it's <laughs> I can't get it out of my teeth. I can't. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh no, we're in. <laughs> Please ignore the white bra, but Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't hate it. I feel like we can make this work. I'm, I mean, is this meant to be like here? I don't know. I mean, I feel like with a bit of a steam and maybe a cute little belt. I'm not mad. It definitely looks like it did on the website. All right, 
Next! Now because I'm feeling extra, I got another very extra dress. And it's very sparkly, it gave me magical vibes. Oh my God, this is a heavy dress. So this is like a formal gown, oh my goodness. Oh, it's so magical. If this doesn't fit, I'm actually gonna cry. Oh, it's long, it's, a, oh! Ooh, we've got a little, cheek little slit. Poke your leg at, oh, oh, I'm going. Before I show you the next one, this was terrifying to get in and out of, but that's probably more me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> this is actually so cute. Again, wouldn't be wearing it with this bra, but this is cute and magical. Like I could wear this to, I could genuinely wear this to an event. It needs a steam. Oh, look, it's like, hi, I love this actually. That's so cute. This cost 55 pounds for like an event gown dress. That's not too bad. And it feels really like heavy, but in a good way. And it fits nice. So the next are two that I saw. This is what made me go onto the side of the website because I saw these shorts mixed with this top and I was like, such a cute summer outfit. So we're gonna try them on. I feel like this outfit is really cute. I definitely feel a little self-conscious in it just because I'm not used to shorts that are maybe this short. I don't know, what are we thinking? It's definitely a cute outfit, it does go together. And I like that the shorts are high-waisted. It feels nice quality. Boot. <laughs> also, I'm just saying, I've got my white bra on under here because if I didn't, you would literally be able to see my nipples right now. Like, you, Oh my God, it's see-through. You would absolutely have to wear this with a black bra. It is cute, but let me know what you think. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, let's move on to some trousers because I think I'm done with shorts for now. These are so cute. I really hope these fit because these are jeans and they're space themed. Look, they've got moons, planets, stars, the sun. 31 pounds for galaxy print jeans. Oh, look at the print. Look at it. Oh, please fit. These are so cute. Is there any stretch? No, there isn't. So we're gonna pray to the jeans gods. Oh, why do you, oh, hang on. We got a little cheeky pocket there. I'm kind of obsessed. Oh, oh, look at the pattern. Oh, I really like those. We've got pockets at the front. We've got pockets at the back. And they're high-waisted. And they fit nice. And they're magical. Oh, I'm so pleased with those. Those are so cute. They're actually really comfortable as well. Whilst we're on the trousers, let's try these. Now, I love the, the kind of moods that you can find on Cider. You can have like retro moods, cute moods. This one, I believe, was one of the kind of retro groovy moods. <laughs> And I just thought they looked super comfortable. So these are, <laughs> they reminded me of Molly Weasley, I'm just saying. I thought they looked really slouchy and cute and like light for the summer. Like imagine these with some sandals with some brown and maybe a, like a white or brown top. I think that would be so cute. Okay, are we vibing? I feel like they're a little bit tight around here, just a tiny bit, but they do fit. And like, oh, I mean, they're kind of cute. I think I like the, all oh, these pockets. I do think I probably could have got away with a higher size in these just so they're not as kind of slapped to my thighs. <laughs> Ow. Time for a jumper. This also reminded me a little bit of Molly Weasley. Oh, isn't it perfect for autumn? <gasps> oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> this clashes. This is perfect for autumn. I'm feeling like pumpkin season. Pumpkin spice latte season. I love it. This is a very nice jumper. It has not anything bad to say about it. I love the knit pattern. I love the colors. I love the fit. The sleeves are a good length. I'm just gonna swap back into the jeans so that I'm not so patterned. Oh, okay, we're back. Next up, let's do some more tops because I need to get out of the see-through top. I don't know what I was thinking. This looks so cute in the pictures. I mean, we'll try it anyway. I've forgotten how it's meant to look, but we'll just, I'll stick my arms through some holes and see where we get. Okay, we managed to fit it on. Now ignore any white that you can see, so pretend they're not there. I would probably wear a 
black bra with this top. But I actually quite like it. I like that there's different coloured, what do you call them? Sleeves? It's not a sleeve, but you know what I mean. I think it's quite cute. It would be great with high-waisted things. And I do like it. I didn't think it would fit at first, but it, it does. It stretches and it's quite cute. It's a, it's a bit different. I do like it. And I think that will go into my keep pile. I don't even remember buying that one. Okay, so this is a jumper. I'm trying to remember this one. This is like accidental Gryffindor colors. Oh, it is slouchy. It's definitely comfortable. Oh, I like it. I like the different colors. Goes over the boot. I like the different knit patterns as well. And the sleeves is very soft. I kind of wish that there were some pockets. I feel like it, it is missing pockets. But it's, it, hey, it, it didn't lie to us. It's slouchy, it's cute. Can't go wrong with a knitted cardigan. Hey, <laughs> kitty t-shirt. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Okay, this is comfy. I want to live in this cat t-shirt. Isn't it adorable? Like, look at all those kitties. <laughs> I really like it. It's nice and slouchy. This would make a really nice pajama top, but it'd also make a cute top. Like you could tuck this in or like tie it because it's quite slouchy. So you could do a little kind of dooby doo moment. So cute. We like. Oh, adorable. Okay, let's go with another top. This one is more of like a cute shirt, like a neutral, toned shirt. It's made out of like this kind of linen material. It's very creased. Am I going to iron it for you? No, I'm not. What does it look like? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. I feel like I'm not a cropped gal. I'm just saying, but mm, I don't feel like there's a, <laughs> there's a slight aroma as well of like swimming pools not sure why there's pockets in case you want to fill your little boob pockets with snacks not sure i don't think i like this one i think this is the first of my instant no right let's pick some trousers i'm gonna keep this top on because this is a good color to go with these but these are some slouchy trousers again big fan of slouchy trousers and they're in this kind of paisley pattern, kind of like an orangey pattern. Oh, they're like harem pants with the ankle cuffs as well. Oh yeah, these are, these are very me. The shape, the cut, the, yeah, I love the cuffs around the ankle. Oh, I just love these. They feel nice, they look cute. Oh, are these maybe my new favorite trousers? They might be. And they do kind of look cute with this top, I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think of these trousers? I really like them. It's time for a message from today's sponsor, Squarespace. I've always had multiple project ideas, blogs, shops, portfolios, but no easy way for me to get them online, so they often never happen. Squarespace changes all of that, making building your website online easy without sacrificing design. You can even have your Instagram feed appear directly on your website for no extra fee. You can also buy your domain and personalized email address with Squarespace, so you'll be online with your own address in minutes. There are even unique features that really appeal to me, such as the new members area, which is something I'm really excited to try out for myself. So head to squarespace.com forward slash Cherry Wallace for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the code Cherry Wallace to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's move on to a jumper. Now, did I buy this jumper with Christmas in mind? Yes. Is it June? Also yes. <laughs> this is a jumper which just reminded me of a little elf. Oh! Guys, look! There's tiny little flowers. Oh, she's soft. Oh, there's pearls! There's little flowers with pearls in the middle. Oh, this is adorable. This. You wait till Advent Candle Week this year. I'm going to be wearing this. Oh, it comes with a spare little flower as well. <sighs> okay, it's going on. Santa put me on his good list this year because I'm a cute little elf. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Oh, I'm feeling festive. She's feeling like it should be Christmas right now. Oh, it's so cute. I love, love these details down here. It's, it's just a really cozy jumper. If you're after a festive cozy jumper in the summer, this might be for you. Oh, isn't it cute? I'm still, mm, yes. It's time to hit myself in the face. <laughs> it's time for another dress. So this is a brown 
maxi dress. It's probably gonna be crinkled. Maxi dresses are the ones that go all the way down to the floor. Oh, it's got padding. I can take my bra off for this one. Okay, so it's, oh, I can imagine seeing this like on a beach. Let me see how much this cost. I don't think this was that expensive for a long maxi dress. Oh. 36 pounds, so it's their solid lace trim maxi dress. Definitely needs a steam, but let's put it on because I'm quite excited about this one. I feel like Edward Cullen because there's like glitter all over my boobs from the glitter dress. Okay, this, oh, it's cute. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, I like this one. It definitely needs a steam and some sandals. The socks aren't the vibe, but I actually love this. Oh, this is so perfect for holidays. Just like going along the beach, having a cocktail in hand. That's really nice. This, this dress was actually everything that I was hoping that it would be. I love that. It was definitely a bit fiddly because the straps actually crossover a bit weird at the back so it felt like a bit of a puzzle to get into it but when you're in it it's actually really comfy oh so cute right let's move on to the last thing which i'm pleased about because i have gone through an entire workout doing all these outfit changes now this one is so cute and it would be adorable for spring or summer these are the ditzy floral square neck jumpsuit for 28 pounds these feel nice the embroidery is cute so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put on a black t-shirt underneath. I'm obsessed with the sage green color as well at the moment. Oh, I feel like an art teacher. <laughs> I feel like this is something that like Miss Honey would wear from Matilda. Oh, and pockets. I put the cat t-shirt on underneath. That is cute. I've gotta say, I love all the embroidery. Uh, I like that the straps here were adjustable. Let me just hide those cats. <laughs> But yeah, so this is what it looks like. There's a little zip at the side. There's, they're really like airy on the legs. <laughs> they feel nice. I feel like I could just have a nice practical day in these. I feel like a cute little belt might help as well, like cinch me in. But it is cute. Um, I don't hate these. We like a little floral spring moment. I love this sage color. I match my armchair of dreams. Oh, okay. That's enough trying clothes on for one year. That's too many. So that's the end of this video. What are my thoughts on cider? Some things definitely fit well, some things absolutely didn't, but I'm sure they have like a return policy. But as for like quality, I feel like nothing really felt flimsy or cheap everything felt pretty good and i'm quite pleased with that because you never know when you're directly ordering from the internet i like to personally see things in real life and feel them so this was probably quite a splurge on a like a risky shop for me and i think i liked most of the things this is the pile of things that i think i'm gonna keep and this is the pile that i think i'm maybe not going to or i'm gonna potentially either return them or see if my friends want any any of them because they'll probably fit better than I <laughs> but overall I actually really enjoyed my experience with cider but it's not just about me I want to hear what you think what outfit do you think was the cutest what surprised you the most for the value of the item as well I think that glittery ball gown for me kind of took me by surprise like getting into that there was like leg holes it wasn't just a normal dress it felt very comfortable and I feel as though I would have felt really safe wearing that to an event and I just felt really cool in it but it has put glitter over nearly everything and everywhere in my house so I'm gonna have to get the vacuum out but either way I did enjoy cider the only thing that I think is a pretty big negative is the plastic waste it was so unnecessary that's not even half of it these clothes did not need to be in plastic like that they could have been sent in the kind of durable paper bags as well, the kind of eco ones, but you could just put all of these clothes into their outer packaging. I just think it was a bit wasteful. In fact, it wasn't a bit wasteful, it's extremely wasteful having that much plastic if you're buying more than one thing. Because let's be real, what am I meant to do with like 20 of these? I will try to repurpose them or find somewhere to recycle them, but I kind of wish I didn't have these to clear up.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have watched this, did you enjoy this kind of content? Let me know in a comment down below. Let's have a conversation down below and I will see you in my next video. Okay, I've got a lot of plastic bags and clothes to find hangers for. <laughs> All right guys, see you in the next one. Bye. Just finish it how I started. <laughs>